Good afternoon, dear colleagues. I would like to uh, talk about the complications of total replacement in um, uh, patients of um, younger groups. The mean period of follow-up was from six months and longer up to 74 months, uh, 264 patients in the age group between 4 uh, to 70. Mainly, these are patients after total uh, knee replacement. We distributed them by different uh, types of implants. So, every year, number of organ sparing uh, procedures, which, uh, so to say, uh, replacement procedure is a part of them. So, we see more of them, such procedures, and we see more of uh, uh, situations with complications developing, which we should, uh, so to say, uh, deal with. Uh, the complications were classified according to well-known Henderson uh, classification, but uh, using its uh, second uh, modification, which was modified at the ISLs, uh, by ISL Society, which, uh, which was added uh, pediatric complications. Distribution was uh, more or less, uh, so to say, equal, but mostly we saw complications related to the soft tissue imaging, like coverage uh, defects and uh, aseptic instability in our uh, patients was seen only in four cases, but regretfully this parameter will grow further on uh, because, as I said, we took patients with follow-up of six months and longer. And this complication is seen in uh, many years, so in a year, in two, five, and ten, so we expect the increase of this indicator, especially in pediatric uh, population, and I will later discuss why. Structural injuries, which were mostly related to the uh, breakage of the elongation mechanism, which was uh, one of the most frequent complications among our patients. But uh, luckily, I hope this problem will be seen less and less because uh, we lately use uh, uh, endoprothesis, uh, expanding exprothesis of the last uh, generation. Such uh, um, dangerous complications infection was seen only in nine patients, and uh, uh, their patients underwent a two-stage uh, revision surgery. Local relapse was seen in seven patients, and uh, final part about implications includes those pediatric ones, which we see only in children. It's uh, a gross plate block with deformity along the extremity axis, which we saw in three of our patients. And regretfully, again, we expect that this problem will be uh, seen and will be noticed more and more uh, with the growth of our patients who underwent surgery at the age of six, seven, eight years of age. The next item is the joint dysplasia which develops under the, uh, the replacement of the uh, hip uh, area. Uh, we, it's a quite a serious problem, uh, which, hard, which is hard to treat. So finally, we had 47 cases of complications. We had 47 patients with complications, reaching almost 18%. It is rather high uh, parameter. It has a high value if you compare it with classical primary uh, endoprothesis or replacements. Uh, so we see that uh, prosthetic replacements in cancer patients is a more uh, complex uh, business, uh, which where complications develop more frequently. So in uh, publications, international publications show more or less similar data. So why those complications develop and why I mentioned that these complications are more frequently seen in children. It's related to the uh, resection volume. If you look at the calf uh, uh, of a child of 17 and 7 years of age, and I took calf as one of the most uh, problematic areas, which uh, according to the publications shows higher uh, higher risk of complications. So we can see that in several year olders, uh, quite clear the soft tissue deficit, uh, the calf flap, which we always use to cover endoprothesis uh, in seven year old child is much smaller, in uh, adolescent or young adult patients it's much larger. And if we take our classical, most frequent uh, resection legs, about 16 centimeters, 
in our patients, uh, uh, which we see in our patients, that we see that in 17 year olders, it is almost not a half of the segment, while in seven year olders, it is almost two third, two third of the segments. So they've got only uh, five centimeters for intermedullary, uh, uh, inter for intermedullary, so to say, uh, piece. So the problem. Of those, in those patients, is anthropometric data, which always results uh, uh, septic. So it's a, so, so we've got tissue deficit, which always results in septic. Often results in septic instability, defect uh, of uh, um, heel coverage, uh, and uh, and the most dangerous, the most threatening complications is infection, which we also uh, can see in case of soft tissue deficit. So soft tissue deficit results in infection, infection results in repeated surgery and revision, which actually, um, uh, so to say, intensifies this uh, soft tissue deficit, making it into the evil, turn it into the evil circle. The last decade, we see more and more studies claiming that the offset uh, in unchanged tissues could be less than one centimeter. Of course, it is done to spare as much of the bone uh, as possible and uh, as much uh, large volume of uh, soft tissues as possible. But we currently we do this uh, offset of at least two centimeters. We do not, we cannot yet, we are not that bold to do this with just one centimeter. But as I showed, in a small child, two centimeters in a small child, or in an adult, or in an adolescent, two centimeters is a big difference. Uh, immature skeleton is also one of the specific or peculiarities uh, which creates lots of problems for us. Children, they continue to grow, so there could be issues with reconstruction. Uh, that we need to be very careful uh, dealing with uh, uh, growth plates. While the child grows, there could be problems uh, with the bone length, and we should correct it. If it is, uh, so to say, extending process, we should extend it. If it's not, then we should correct it with a special, special, special shoes um, or sh uh, in shoes. Uh, so, uh, and it might result finally in a septic instability. Also, while the child is growing, uh, the uh, bone marrow canal could also enlarge, which might result also in a septic instability, requiring another revision. And as I mentioned previously, uh, with regard to a septic instability, and it was shown by many researchers, children and adolescents is a higher uh, risk group. They are more mobile, they are less disciplined, uh, and do have higher physical activity. So it means that patients below the age of 20 more frequently develop such complications. And when we talk about the problems of uh, gross area block, they could be different. Uh, not that many studies have been dedicated to the tissue, but specialists agree that uh, immature uh, skeleton it result in impaired uh, blood supply in the lacrosse zone. Also, uh, gross zone blockage could be caused by the interaction of the metal polyethylene pair. And uh, this problem is asymptomatic and could be seen only on X-rays. So, uh, uh, the uh, gross plate block with deformity, it might result in another problem, meaning a septic implant and septic instability. Uh, talking about the uh, joint dysplasia causes with uh, a prosthesis head subluxation, uh, most frequently it is uh, it could be caused by no modern of acetabulum, uh, increasing load on acetabulum from the side of the metal and the prosthesis head, and uh, especially in the cage, and weakness of uh, uh, muscle uh, in the post-op period. And also, we saw, for instance, two patients, I mean, abductor muscles. Uh, so we had two patients, they had no complaints, nothing, and all the x-rays showed this problem. But of course, most of the, in most of the cases, we see shortening of the extremities as a main complaint. I would like to develop on this problem in more details, because majority of specialists have issues in dealing with it, and there are no specific uh, guidelines or recommendations what to do if infection 
develops. You know, you, you all know that the revision is required, maybe one or two stages. Uh, you can decide it for yourself. But uh, for um, joint displeasure, uh, not that many studies have been done. Some people do abduct in orthosis, uh, saying that it's not highly effective. One of the most effective treatment in this people in this case is a triple osteotomy of pelvis bones, which helps to change the uh, angle or tilt of the acetabulum. Some people uh, some people form the roof acetabulum roof with allograft, but uh, some specialists notice a higher pain syndrome after this intervention. And starting from the age of 10 to 11 years, some specialists suggest to use acetabulum uh, component implants or stable implants in that case. But uh, we prefer more traumatic, more invasive uh, technique as triple uh, pelvis bone osteotomy. And at the end, I would like to say that uh, the best treatment for complications is uh, prevention. So avoid complications. We need to do uh, accurate and sort of pre-op planning, work with infection control specialists. You should be quite careful with your surgical technique, uh, following uh, the uh, oncological surgery rules, trying to spare as much as possible of bone and soft tissues. And also we uh, mm, recommend uh, to avoid uh, dynamic follow-up in case uh, of infection and septic instability. And to treat such patients properly, we need to use interdisciplinary approach. Thank you for your attention.